Hi guys, Adam again. So last time we got some information from our Google Sheets and put it into this, uh, into Microsoft Excel and created a table. And we named the table, my name, my table name is Table Adam. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to visualize some of this information. Um, but what we have to do first is do a couple of equations to get the information that we want to see. So one of the really cool things about tables is that you can create calculations within them and they carry across for the entire data, data set or everything that's inside the table. So an example calculation we might do here is we have your latest RPE or rating of perceived exertion and we have the duration of that exercise session. So there is a metric called session RPE or SRPE that we can calculate. And the way that we do that is we create another column in this table. That's what I'm doing here. I right click on the M and insert a column. I'm gonna call it SRPE. And now the way that we let Excel know that we want to do an equation is we start by typing an equal sign. If we don't do that, we can type in anything that we want. Right now I'm just typing in a bunch of random numbers. You can type in some letters, you can type in anything you want and the cell will fill with that content. If you wanna do an equation, you type in the equal sign. And then once you start typing letters, there should be a drop down menu that kind of comes up that will let you know the different equations that start with those letters. So to calculate SRPE, we multiply the latest RPE by the latest duration. So we don't need any of these letters or fancy formulas here. We can just simply go equals latest RPE and you'll see it in here and you'll see it up there times latest session or latest duration. And again, you see it there and it gets all colorful and I can click enter. Now, one thing to look out for is when you're entering in formulas and tables is that you notice how it says at RPE and at latest duration, that's how you know that you're doing it right. If you were to say equals and click on a cell that is not in the same row as where you're creating the formula, such as this one, now it says J3. And if I do J3 times latest duration or J or K3, then the equation isn't going to work. So I did it, but now this is showing me zero because it's this times this. And then this is showing me J4 times K4. It keeps on going down one. So we miss this data here. So going full circle to create an equation inside the table, go equals, all right, it tells me at latest RPE, and that inside there will be whatever this column is, multiplied by latest duration, enter. Now this is what I do with all of my formulae, and we're gonna do it too. So we told Excel we wanna multiply those two things together, and there's a formula called if error. I'm gonna type it in here, I-F-E, oh, it's popping up there. I can double click on this. Now it's saying if there's an error with whatever's going on in here, I'm gonna to go to the end, then now give me a value if there's an error. So if there's an error with this latest RPE times latest duration, I don't want it to display one of its error things. I might want it to display error. And now this is just I'm gonna change this to be ABC. Now we see what happened there, it says error. But the way that I do it is I typically say, if there's an error, I want it to be blank. The reason why I do that is because when there are errors, they can sometimes throw off calculations and blanks are treated differently than other things. So now this cell is blank, there was an error, I'm going to change this back to what it was and you'll see this cell fell in, fill in here. 
And that's it for this video. Simple equation. And I'll uh, catch you in the next one.